so many books. Hey there guys, this is Samantha and today I have my November book haul for you guys. Yes, I bought quite a few books and I did not intend to, but I bought a lot of them. Let me just get this first book out of the way because I did not actually buy this. It was given to me by one of my friends. It is actually A Kiss in Time by Alex Flynn. This is the same guy who wrote Beastly and this is a retelling of Sleeping Beauty I believe and I have actually read this a very long time ago but I do not remember what it is if, it, if I liked it or not so this will be a reread for some time in the future. So the first books I'm going to show you are the books that I actually have a physical copy of at the moment. The rest of them are in the mail on, to, on, to, on the way to my house. Yes, I bought them this month, but it was at the end of the month so they haven't come yet and all of that good stuff. Scepter of the H Ancients by Derek Landy and I'm actually really excited to read this because this is a favorite of another booktuber who highly recommends it so I will be reading this very soon. The next book that I have is actually another suggestion by a booktuber. They really enjoy this series and I shall be reading this very soon as well and it is the Pendragon series, The Merchant of Death by DJ McHale and yes I'm not actually sure what this book or Scepter of the Asians are really all about but they were, they're, they're very highly regarded, I guess, so I shall be reading them. These next books that I bought, I bought at a thrift store, and they were really just books that I've heard of before. I don't really know why I'm buying, I bought them. This first one that I have is The Memory Keeper's Daughter by Kim Edwards. I don't know what it's about, I've heard so many good things about it, but I know, I'm pretty sure it's going to be something depressing, just by the title and the cover and whatnot so if you guys haven't noticed I buy a lot of books before I actually know what they're about so I don't actually know if I'm going to enjoy any of these books. The next books that I bought is Siren by Trisha Rayburn and I've actually hadn't heard too many good things about it but it looks really interesting so I'm hoping that I'm going to be one of the few who do like it so the next book that I have is Confessions of an Ugly Stepsister by Gregory Maguire and I have read Wicked by the same author and I absolutely despised it. I hated it so much. Oh my gosh. But I'm hoping that I'm going to like this one a little more. And the last of my physical copies of the books that I have is Scarlet by Marissa Meyer and I finally bought this book and I've wanted to read it for so long and I'm super excited to read it. Oh, I'm so excited to read this. And now on to the books that are on their way to me. The first two books that I bought that are not with me at the moment are The Serpent Sea and The Siren Depths by Martha Wells. And I will have pictures of them in this frame. And it is the second and third book in the Cloud Roads trilogy that I read this month. And I am so excited to read these books, you guys. Oh my gosh. I absolutely loved The Cloud Roads, and I'm so excited to read these books. But okay, on to the next one. The next book that I bought is another booktuber suggestion. It is The Demon Trapper's Daughter, and I cannot remember the name of the author, so I'll put their name in this part of the video screen. Next book that I bought is Crown of Midnight by Sarah J Maas and I bought it because it was very on sale and I'm super excited to buy it. Well, bought it. I already bought it. I'm super excited to read it. That was the word I was looking for. Nextly, I have Worlds After by Susan E and that is the second book in the Angel Fall series and I think it's actually a trilogy, but I'm going to say series just in case. But got actually too excited to read that book but the book was good enough that I'm going to read the next one and all of that good stuff. And the next two books that I bought are Shadows of Glass and Remnants of Tomorrow by Cassie Taylor and those are the second and third book in the trilogy of the Ashes of Twilight I believe. Yes, Ashes of Twilight series. And the last book that I bought this month I'm so excited for oh my gosh you guys 
Oh my gosh. It is In the Afterlight by Alexandria Black Bracken. And I am so excited to read this book. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have been re waiting so long to read this book. And I am so stupidly excited about this book. It's disgusting. It's disgusting actually how excited I am. And the last book that is in my haul this month, I did not actually buy. I won it. I seem to be winning a lot of Goodreads giveaways, and I am not complaining at all because I love free books. Free books are awesome. I'm actually going to have to read this one off of my paper because it is a long name. So, it is called The Thorn of Denton Hill by Marshall Ryan Mariska, maybe? And it is... A, about a magic guy who's in like a magic school or something and he is um trying to defeat a drug lord or something of the like maybe I'll have a link to it down below because I know it's not a very well-known one because it has not even come out yet it does not come out till February 3rd so I don't actually know I'm going to have the physical copy if I'm going to get it anytime soon or if they are going to wait until the release date time to give it to me but I'm hoping it'll be soon because I'm, I love magic novels. Yes. But that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed watching because I sure as hell love talking. I will see you guys next time.